Ever wondered how to uncover the hidden patterns in your data using factor analysis extraction methods? Well, factor analysis is a powerful statistical tool employed across various fields to unearth these hidden patterns. A key step in factor analysis is factor extraction, where the right method is chosen to extract meaningful factors from the observed variables. Factor extraction methods come in many flavors, each with its own unique characteristics. Let's explore some of the most commonly used methods. First up, we have Principal Components Analysis, or PCA. This method is a bit like a treasure hunter seeking out the hidden gems in your data. It creates uncorrelated linear combinations of observed variables. The first component it finds captures the maximum variance, like the biggest gem in the treasure chest. The subsequent components explain smaller portions of the variance, smaller gems, if you will. PCA is great for situations where the correlation matrix is singular, making it a versatile tool in your statistical toolbox. Next, we have the unweighted least squares method. This technique minimizes the squared differences between observed and reproduced correlation matrices, excluding diagonal elements. It's a good choice when you want to focus on the overall pattern of correlations rather than individual data points. Moving on, the generalized least squares method also aims to minimize square differences, but it adds a twist. It weights correlations by the inverse of their uniqueness, giving less weight to highly unique variables. This method can be particularly helpful when dealing with data sets that have outliers or extreme values. Then there's the maximum likelihood method. This approach produces parameter estimates that are most likely to have generated the observed correlation matrix from a multivariate normal distribution. It's a robust choice for data that follow a normal distribution. Finally, let's talk about principal axis factoring. This method extracts factors from the original correlation matrix using squared multiple correlation coefficients as initial estimates of communalities. It's a versatile option that can handle a variety of data structures. Each of these methods has its own unique approach to factor extraction, making them useful for different situations. The alpha method aims to maximize the alpha reliability of factors. It's a unique approach, treating variables not as fixed, but as a sample drawn from a universe of potential variables. The goal, to extract factors that maximize the overall reliability. Now, let's talk about image factoring. This method, developed by Gutmann, takes a different route altogether. It defines the common part of a variable as its linear regression on the remaining variables, not as a function of hypothetical factors. While these methods might not be as commonly used, they offer unique perspectives on factor extraction. Now, let's talk about some debates and recommendations regarding these methods. Principal components analysis and principal axis factoring often take the spotlight in factor analysis. However, the choice between them is not clear cut and largely depends on the nature of your data and research objectives. It's recommended to test multiple methods and compare the results for robustness. Remember, each method has its unique strengths and weaknesses. No matter the method, the goal remains the same to uncover the hidden patterns in your data.